Not every animal is cute enough that the masses are willing to welcome them into their homes. While pet cats can be common, pet spiders are far less, but still, there are some people who love the more weird animals, and there are those who have pets like snakes and spiders and who knows what else. The creatures in this video may be so weird that even those people have no love for them. These are 20 weird animals that will give you the chills. Number 20. Potu. This creature might be the strangest living thing on our planet, and yes, it's real. How's that for starters? Uh, apparently, there are plenty of animals out there in the world that I could have started with, but the Potu honestly felt like the perfectly placed one because, well, look at those eyes. I mean, seriously, who thought that it was a good idea to give a bird like this googly eyes? And if you don't know the Potu by name, you have likely seen this bird in memes for the sole reason that people have used this to express dumb ideas and things. But what exactly are these birds? Well, let me give you a little bit of background. Potus are insectivorous, nocturnal, and related to night jars and frog mouths, both of which have very dumb names as well. I mean, seriously, frog mouths? What in the actual heck is that? They can be found in every Central and South American country, on Caribbean islands, and have the greatest diversity in the Amazon, which holds five of the seven species. That's not too surprising because of how diverse the Amazon is in general. And now the question becomes, well, why do they have those big eyes? Apparently, it's to help them hunt. During the day, these birds will sit on the end of a tree branch and literally blend into the background with their eyes closed. They're really good at this, apparently, and you can't see them if they don't want you to. Then, when it becomes nighttime, and thus time to eat, they will use those great big eyes to see in the dark. They find insects that they want to devour, and then simply open their mouths and let those insects get caught as the bird flies around. Do you recall animals like the whale shark that are filter feeders? Well, they just open their mouths and swim around to catch fish. It's kind of the same principle. And if you want to know one more creepy fact about the Potu, well, even if they have their eyes closed, they can still see you. Because they have special eyelids that cover their big yellow eyes during the day so that they can sense all the movement around them. And even if a predator did see past that camouflage, they'd be able to know when it was about to strike. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Take a look at this image and feel your blood turn cold. This creature might be the strangest living thing on our planet, and yes, it's real, though it's not exactly living anymore. During a busy day at work, one fisherman pulled up his net, expecting little more than the common catch, but buried amongst them was this deceased carcass. And as you can see, to call it strange is an understatement. Humans probably know less than 1% about what lives in our oceans, but it's no surprise every time an odd new species is unearthed. That doesn't prevent the uncanny feeling when you first see a sea creature unlike anything you've seen before, like when we first met a blobfish, a goblin shark, and now whatever this is. Here's to hoping that there aren't too many of them down there, because these things are gross. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below by using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. The Pangolin Many of you may know of the pangolin because it's easily one of the most unique creatures in the world. In fact, you would not be wrong in saying that there's no other creature in the world that's like it. And why? Well, that's because this is a literal armored creature. Now, when I say armored, I don't mean that they simply have a tough hide, because plenty of creatures have that, like the honey badger and the rhino. But no, this mammal is much different and has a more external shield for its skin. They are the only mammals wholly covered in scales, and they use those scales to protect themselves from predators in the wild. If under threat, a pangolin will immediately curl into a tight ball and will use their sharp scaled tails to defend themselves. But that's not all that they can do. If they further wanted to deter people or predators from getting too close, they have a scent gland that they can emit that makes them similar to a skunk. 
so yeah, you probably shouldn't get too close. Now, not unlike the potu, the pangolin are nocturnal animals who love to eat insects. In fact, the pangolin mimic another animal via the anteater by having an incredibly long tongue that's perfect for such catching creatures. Now, there is a catch to all of this though. While this odd creature is worth studying, its uniqueness has also made it a target on the world stage. And by that, I mean that they are definitely one of the most trafficked animals in the entire planet. Their meat is considered to be a delicacy, and pangolin scales are used in traditional medicine and folk remedies. And before you say, well, we just need to put some laws in place to protect them, we already do that. Every single species of the bird is protected by law, and yet their numbers continue to dwindle because of the illegal animal trade. Things need to change in a hurry, or else we won't have this very strange but also quite unique creature to admire in the future. Number 18. Vogelkop Superb Bird of Paradise I, I know what you're thinking now, okay? There's no way that an actual creature is named Vogelkop Superb Bird of Paradise. However, you're obviously wrong because that's the name of this bird. Not only is this bird a real thing, but it's one of the most odd things that you're ever going to see on this channel bar none. And if you look at the bird in its basic form, you're not going to be too impressed. It has a unique style to it, but that's about it. And that's before you see it in its mating form. For mating display, the male fans its feathers out to form a pitch black oval that's highlighted by electric blue feathers, suggesting a smile and a pair of eyes, and it hops around excitedly around a female. Now, if I'm being blunt, this is one of the freakiest things I've ever seen. I mean, seriously, think about it. The bird intentionally uses its feathers to make it seem less like a bird and more like a monstrous black blob, and then uses that form to try and woo its mate. Could you even imagine if you had simply found this bird while it was doing that mating dance, where all that you saw was its infinite black void of a body and then the eyes and mouth peering out through the darkness? I get chills just thinking about it. And yes, I know that there are plenty of animals out there who have their own version of a weird mating dance or ritual and what have you, but few look as freaky as the Vogelkop Superb Bird of Paradise. I'm gonna die on this hill. Number 17. Okapi. There are a lot of animals in Africa that definitely startle people from outside the continent upon first being viewed. One such is the okapi. There were legends about this particular creature in Europe in the 20th century to the extent that many people actually called it the African unicorn for the sole reason that it was so rarely seen that some didn't even believe that it existed. Of the jungle, it's just hard to have a lot in one combined area. The animal was brought to prominent European attention by speculation on its existence found in press reports that covered Henry Morton Stanley's journeys in 1887. And so then, when it was seen by the wider world through exploration, people weren't really sure what to make out of it because it looked like the fusion of multiple animals. With its white and black striped hindquarters and front legs, it looked like it must be related to a zebra or something. But if you take a look at its head, you're going to notice a resemblance to a giraffe. So which one is it really? Well, it's the latter. In fact, the okapi is the only living relative to the giraffe, albeit one that is of a smaller size compared to its relative. For example, in terms of its height, it's only about one and a half meters tall, but in contrast, it also features a length of 2.5 meters. Most of that length is in its neck, so you can further see why it's related to the giraffe. Another reason that many people didn't see it at first was because they prefer to be solitary creatures. That's right, they only come together during mating season, otherwise they're on their own. And that's in direct contrast to many other African creatures who actually prefer to live in packs or herds. Sadly, the okapi is an endangered species, so hopefully efforts can be taken to keep this unique creature from becoming extinct. Number 16. The Garanook now, I've just completed talking about one long neck creature, and how about I bring you another one? Because when it comes to the Garanook, it's a weird looking creature because it's an antelope with a neck that is a lot like a giraffe's, or perhaps it's a lot like an okapi. It also doesn't help that it also has similarities to the gazelle, which is why one of the nicknames for this antelope is the giraffe gazelle, which probably doesn't help with the identification process because it's neither of those things. Gilby. 
Now, another thing that makes the Gara Nuke interesting is that it doesn't like to move around a lot. And by that, I mean it's going to spend a whole lot of its time foraging for food, but won't travel all that often or even fight within its own little herd. Food and foraging are its main focus, and they're known to be incredibly still. That's because they apparently like to preserve their energy. These things have helped them to survive not only against predators, but also against humans. However, that streak is beginning to come to an end. Because, with the population of Africa, Africa expanding, they're beginning to cut into the habitats that the Garanook used to forage, and thus, over the last three generations of the species, they've actually lost around 25% of their numbers. And that is not a good thing, and it'll likely even grow from there if nothing's done about it. Getting back to the weirdness of things, it's a very curious thing why the creature would evolve such a long neck instead of looking like its other relatives, but then again, sometimes evolution just doesn't make sense. Number 15. Fossa Take a look at this picture of a fossa, a creature that you may not have known existed up until now. What do you think this animal is? Don't worry, there are no wrong answers. That is, unless you say something really dumb, and then we'll just roast you for saying such a stupid thing in the comments. Upon first glance, a fossa looks like some kind of cat or monkey or weasel, or perhaps a cat monkey weasel. It has paws with claws like a cat, a long tail like a monkey, and round little ears like a weasel. It's not the only animal in the world that has a menagerie of features, but it's always curious to see one like this and wonder how it came to be. Here's a twist though, it's actually none of those animals that I mentioned. Technically, it's related more to a mongoose, and that's only the beginning of this mystery because we don't really know much about them outside of certain basics. Native to only Madagascar off the east coast of Africa, fossas are that island's largest carnivores, and one of the things that makes them so deadly is that they can easily move through the trees that they can match their prey. One could only wonder what else we'd be able to learn about these creatures, should we have more time with them. But then again, having a mystery to solve is something that makes humans very happy and also eager to learn. Number 14. Frilled Shark now here's a creature that deserves to be on this list for a whole lot of reasons. The frilled shark is one of the species of shark that honestly doesn't really look like a shark. In fact, if you saw it in the wild, you may think that it was something like an eel versus anything else. But just take a look at its body. It has a really oddly colored hide that kind of looks like rubber or leather. It doesn't feature a dorsal fin, which many of you may associate with sharks outright, and the fins that it does have are incredibly tiny compared to what many other shark species have. So what's really going on with the species? The answer is that this species of shark is a living fossil, as its line has been around for about 80 million years and it hasn't changed all that much in the process. Another thing that's made it a mystery to the world at large is the fact that we honestly don't meet it that much in the water. The frilled shark. They tend to go to depths between 1,000 to 1,500 meters, which is pretty deep, and that means that usually craft or deep sea netting is what actually catches these sharks. Due to that, we only know certain things about them, and many of the trends and life traits that they have are still a mystery to everyone. That's a shame, really, because as weird and unique as this shark looks and is, we definitely want to know more, even if it's just to satiate our own curiosities. Number 13. The Pig-Nosed Turtle In truth, there are many turtles out there in the world that could end up on this list because they defy convention with how they look or why they ended up the way they did. And there's a turtle out there that has hair that is basically grass. It's weird. But if you want something even more wild than that, let's have a look at the Pig-Nosed Turtle. Pignose turtles are mostly aquatic and leave the water only to nest, so they're very much like most marine turtles, which is why they have their special flipper fins. However, the nose is obviously the thing that you'll want to be talking about, because how the heck does it even happen? And to be clear, yes, it really is like a pig snout. It's really fleshy and has nostrils that resemble a pig, but why do they need such a nose? Well, to smell, of course. They have a strong sense of smell, and their sensitive nose helps them to breathe underwater and to locate their food. Pig-nosed turtles also have well-developed ears and are able to hear a wide range of sound frequencies that might seem like an odd combination of features for a turtle, but all animals need to learn how to survive in one form or another. Clearly, over time, the pig-nosed turtle felt that it needed a better nose so that it could last 
cast in the water. And yeah, it is a weird animal, no doubt, but as you've already seen, sometimes there's a method to the madness. However, would this turtle like rummaging around in the mud? I guess we'll never know. Number 12. The Maned Wolf Here's another pop quiz for you. Take a look at this creature known as the maned wolf. What species of animal is it? Some of you might say wolf because of the name, others might say fox because of its appearance, but the real rub here is that it's neither. While it's named one thing and looks like another, it's actually an example of a curiously unique species that's being born with resemblance to others. Nature can be wild that way. Maned wolves range through Central and Eastern South America, which includes Northern Argentina, South and Central Brazil, Paraguay, Bolivia, and Southern Peru. And they are the biggest thing of their kind on the entire continent. <coughs> Meaning dog-like animals, if you can't guess where I'm going with that one. And just like dogs, they're not afraid to mark their territory in the classic ways. But when it comes to talking to one another, they don't howl like other wild dogs. They will straight up bark at their partners or at their foes in order to let them know locations or to stay out of their territory. Plus, these guys are skilled hunters, which isn't too surprising given that they're wild dogs essentially. Maned wolves will rotate their large ears to listen for prey animals in the grass. They tap the ground with a front foot to flush out that prey and pounce on it to catch it, or they may dig after burrowing prey. Whatever it takes to get their food, they're clearly good at what they do. Oh, but I wouldn't really recommend that you try and pet this dog when you find one, because it might not go very well for you. Number 11. The Stubby Squid Sometimes you can tell an animal is weird just by its name. I mean, after all, who wants to be called the stubby squid? Exactly. And yes, the creature really is weird, because it's a squid that is only, and I'm not joking here, five centimeters long. Well, along its mantle anyways. The full body length is actually about 11 centimeters at max, but the point here is that these are very small squids. And that's atypical because when you think of a squid, you may likely think of massively long creatures that help to inspire the legend of the Kraken. But these guys definitely do not do that. They also have a weird body structure that includes tentacles that can be retractable, and some parts of the being fuse to one another in yet another way that squids are not known for. And if you still want some more weird stuff, every summer the stubby squid will go deeper into parts of the ocean so that they can breed, which there's nothing wrong with. And after they lay their eggs within rocks for protection, they will die soon afterward. That's right, this is a species of animal that is fine with breeding and being the highlight of their life and then passing on. <laughs> yes, there are creatures that have a similar pattern, but still it is incredibly weird. Number 10. Spider-tailed horned viper. It's honestly a little surprising that it's taken me this long to get to a snake. I mean, after all, there are numerous weird snakes out there, and the spider-tailed horned viper is only the tip of the iceberg on that front. The good news for you, though, is that this venomous snake only lives in one particular place in all of the world, and that would be in Iran. So if you're not there, you're not going to see how weird it is. However, I'll get to the heart of the matter. What's up with its tail? Well, as you can see in these pictures and videos, the viper does have a tail that spreads out to make it seem as though it might be a spider. But why do this? Well, it's to lure in its prey. Animals that hunt things like spiders will be drawn to the tail, and then the viper will strike, poison, and kill it and devour it. A hunter that has a surefire way to get its food that is both scary and weird. Number 9. The Shoebill now, I'll admit that the last bird I featured was pretty weird, but the shoebill is weird in an entirely different way, and that's really saying something. I mean, seriously, just look at the thing. Does it even look normal to you? Some people have even made jokes that the shoebill is nothing more than an artist's depiction, but that's not true at all. It is a real bird with a weird head, a giant beak, and a stare that'll make you reconsider all of your life choices. <laughs> 
Oh, and it's a literal big bird. It's well over a meter tall and has a wingspan that's about 2.5 meters. As for that beak, it can be used to hold prey, carry water to cool off its eggs, and even be used as a sound device to make mating calls and detract people from coming any closer. Number 8. Fangtooth now, I will be blunt here, there are some freaky fish in the world, and I'm sure that you can name some of them right now. You know, like the anglerfish, but another one you should fear if you get too close is the fangtooth. Now yes, it won't be a big threat to you at home because it's only 15 centimeters long at max, but that doesn't mean that it can't hurt you with those massive teeth. These fish have grotesquely huge jaws with enormous protruding fangs, and they prey upon smaller fish and crustaceans, as well as much larger fish and even squids. And so, if they end up going after a squid, they will go after you as well. Even one bite would be enough to ensure that you never want to mess with the fang tooth again. Plus, just look at it. It looks evil and freaky, and you'll want to stay away from it. Number 7. Malagasy Leaf Nosed Snake Now, see, I told you that last snake was only the tip of the iceberg, and here's another part of that iceberg, the Malagasy Leaf Nosed Snake. This is yet another serpent that has altered its appearance to lure in its prey, but this time around, that snake basically resembles an entire tree branch with a leaf protruding off its nose. And as you can see, it's a dead ringer for bark, and so if it's sitting on a tree, you're not going to notice it very easily. It's even said that this snake will sway at times in order to mimic a vine or something like the wind is moving a tree branch. It's a patient serpent, willing to wait until food gets right up close to it before for attacking, and it is a very clever snake indeed. Oh, but they're not going to attack a human, that is, unless they're provoked, so just keep that in mind. Number 6. Thorny Devil Take a look at this lizard. Can you understand why it's called a thorny devil? Good, I can move on. The thorny devil is a very unique and weird lizard that lives in Australia. In fact, it's so unique that it's the only member of its genus. And yes, it is really thorny. Like seriously, don't even think about trying to touch the thing because you're going to end up regretting it. As you can imagine, these so-called thorns are used to try and ward off a predator because I'm sure that they don't really like being pricked by them. Plus, thanks to the environment in which they live, they can easily blend into their surroundings, so they have multiple methods to keep from becoming food. And that's something to be appreciated, but it's still something that also looks weird. Number 5. The Alligator Gar Can you tell what I'm going to say first? Yes, the Alligator Gar is not related to an alligator in any way, and we should be grateful for that given how alligators can be. The reason that this fish is called the Alligator Gar is because of its head, which is long and flat and has lots of razor-sharp teeth. You know, just like a gator, plus it's a really big fish and thus makes it a prize for any fisherman who's capable enough to get one. My brother even caught one once, and he was so proud of it, he wouldn't shut up. There's no way! I can pick it up! Now, just how big can these gars get? Well, around three meters, and there are plenty of pictures of two fishermen needing to come together just to lift one up. However, it should also be noted that while it is a prize to some, it can actually be an invasive species to others. In China, it's not the most loved thing ever, as there are few predators that can actually take them out, and thus it can cause an imbalance in nature. Number four, the Australian walking stick. In truth, just about every walking stick on Earth could be put on this entry, because walking sticks are definitely weird and one of the wilder things that you'll find in the world. It looks like a stick, and yet it's alive, and I don't want to be anywhere near it. However, there are some things that you may not realize about things like the Australian walking stick, such as that they're creatures that can fly. That's right, they have fully formed wings and are willing to use them. Secondly, they will lay hundreds of eggs, which helps to explain their population numbers, and yet their lifespan is only around a year. Oh, and another weird thing, as it grows, it's more than willing to eat its own shed skin. Ugh. Ugh. Number 3. The Frilled Lizard Here's another creature that you not only likely know, but you know why it's on this list. And if you're having a weird flashback to Jurassic Park, you're along the right lines. 
However, poison is not involved here, thank goodness. Look at the, look how mad he gets. This is awesome. The frilled lizard is one that looks like a regular lizard 90% of the time, which is a good thing, but the catch is that it has a patch of expansive skin around its neck, and when it's attacked or feels threatened, it's going to puff up that patch to make itself look much larger than it is. It'll then charge at the foe menacingly in an attempt to scare it off. And surprisingly, they will also use that skin flap to help with communication. Number 2. Tarsier Now, who approved us of having another big-eyed creature on this list? I should have been done after the Patus. Well, fine, I'll talk about it. But the Tarsier thing is really weird. If you can't tell, the Tarsier is a primate. But obviously, you're drawn to its eyes, which are freakier than you may realize. And why is that? Well, that's because not only does this mammal have the biggest eyes compared to its body, its eyes are heavier than its entire brain. I'm not really sure exactly how to process that, but there it is. Oh, but that's not all. They also have these unique ankle bones, and that allows them to jump really long distances, should they want to. The sad part here is that they are a critically endangered species. Just because they're really weird to look at doesn't mean that they deserve to die, though. Number 1. The Japanese Spider Crab now, you just had to know that I was going to have crabs. You could make your own joke here. There are a few crabs that could have been on this list, but I decided to put the Japanese spider crab on because it's the one that most people would not only recognize, but definitely label as weird looking thanks to its very long legs. And when you spread out those long legs, you're going to get a reach of over 12 and a half feet. Now, that's much, much longer than any crab that's out there. In fact, one of the first people to find these crabs called it Crabzilla, and that's technically very accurate. You're only going to find these crabs off the coast of Japan, and you're technically lucky if you see one because they tend to live within the deeper waters. Yet, they will sometimes come up really close to the shoreline, proving that you can't always predict what an animal's going to do. And that's all from the realms of the wild and looking at all the animals that you can't believe are real but they actually are. Which of these would give you the chills as you look at them? And which ones do you think honestly aren't that odd or bad at all? Perhaps there's another animal that could fit very well on this list. You should be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen and I will see you next time.